So welcome back to our celebration of Nigeria. These are cake, uh, cake cutting moments. Um, no celebration is complete without a cake. And like I said, my very lovely friend, uh, Timida Shinobi, all things nice, sent us this beautiful log to celebrate Nigeria. It's sweet, fruity, and um, it's just a foretaste of the beauty and loveliness that is Nigeria. So, happy birthday, Nigeria. Happy birthday, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. This is really good. Yeah. So, we, we'll eat our cake after. you see us eating it. But anyway, um, doctor, it's, it really still sounds gloomy when we look at what religion has done or has not done. But we know that uh, where there is life, there is hope. Is there something, is there an advice you can give to people? Because in Nigeria, we like to abdicate responsibility. Once somebody carries a microphone, a little table, maybe a bell, and we call him daddy, daddy in the Lord, whatever. What is our responsibility in religion that we can use it to transform our little corners, because when we say Nigeria, it sounds so big, big, but everybody has a responsibility. They say that the map is not the territory. Nigeria yes. is not the problem. Nigerians yes. are the problem uh, yes. of this lovely word called Nigeria. Nigeria. So what can we do as Nigerians, religious, good Nigerians? Nigerians. Thank you, Chinedu, once again. Uh, all is not gloomy about this country. There is hope around the corner that Nigeria will rise again, uh, a giant of Africa. Now, as individuals who profess religion, our first responsibility is uprightness. There is no fear of God among us any longer. Religion may be thriving. But the fear of God is missing. In the book of Ecclesiastes, the last chapter, I think chapter 12, verses 13 and 14, you see, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Mm -hmm. Fear God and obey his commandment. For this is the whole duty of man. So the fear of God is missing among us. We profess religion. We are religious. We are full of activities. But that fear of God in social relations that we lead to transformation that we expect, that I will do my duty as I should do, and that I will, whatever I choose as a profession, I will be truthful and loyal to that profession. I will not use religion as a camouflage or as a deception to cover up my weaknesses and nobody to talk because I would rather say touch not my hand. so that when I religious people have a responsibility of calling their leaders mm -hmm. to order to reality because there is a level you can find yourself that you'll be so detached from the reality, from the reality. but the people are there to call their leaders to order that ah this is, though, that will be challenging. Because for you to look eyeball to eyeball to your leader today, religious <laughs> leader, may be a task. Mm -hmm. Especially when the leader is temperamental, it will tell you, will cost you and all of that. But I'm telling you that Nigeria will be great if all of us as individuals become responsible in our own little way irrespective of our religious differences. Religion is not the problem. It is we who operate this religion. Thank you. That's a lovely note to end it on. Religion is not the problem. It is the operators, operators of the religion that constitute yes. the hindrance to people transferring religious values to the society into a tool for development 
So Nigeria, we wish you a very happy birthday. Long may Nigeria reign. Things may be tough now, yes. but we'll prophesy yeah. that Nigeria will go back to yes. her rightful position yes. as not just a giant of Africa, but a giant in the world. In the world. Because we have all it takes. So once again, we thank you very much. Thank you, Shinedu, for having me. For being here. And um, we need everybody in Nigeria, yes. whatever your uh, way to God. And I tell people, if you're Muslim, if you're Christian, pick up the good book. Sometimes you'll be surprised at what the person at the pulpit is saying is very different from what the book, good book is saying. My people perish for lack of knowledge. Okay. We encourage you to actually study your good book. So thank you once again. And uh, you'll be back. It's a pleasure. You will be, you will be back. So just know that. So thank you so much. Dr. Michael Oni for joining us at the Literary Bar to celebrate our 64th birthday as a country. Thank you so much, Dr. Michael Oni, for joining us at the Literary Bar to celebrate our 64th birthday as a country. Thank you for being there. Remember that the bar is always open. Our celebratory cake was sent in by All Things Nice. Thank you so much, Demi Dayo Shinobi. Until I come your way next time, Make your life a great story. My name is Chinidu. Thank you. Bye-bye.